Hey, good looking. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. This is the fourth day. <laughs> um, so we're going to be decluttering more out of my roller board, my lashes and just odds and ends and things like that. Thanks so much for coming back here with me. And if you are new here, I'm Kendra Morgan official. I put out content every week centered around makeup brushes that aren't Morphe, single eyeshadows, and sunscreen. So if you like that kind of content and you wanna see more of this kind of content for the whole month of December, then make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and let me know by hitting that thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get into some cleansing, some decluttering of the rest of my rollerboard case and my kit. So check it out. <laughs> I know I already did an intro, but I have makeup on. So I am going to be doing the rest of my rollerboard today and getting my lashes, pigments, and just the odds and ends of my rollerboard decluttered. So let's check it out. Okay, we're going to start with lashes first. I feel like that's going to be the easiest thing to just kind of like figure out. I'm going to have three piles. I'm gonna have one for my sister-in-law and then I'm gonna have one for one of my really good friends here I met on YouTube, Candy Beauty. She does a lot of content centered around reviews and she loves big baddie lashes. And I know that they can get really pricey so I'm just gonna give her my biggest baddie lashes that I've got. I know that she likes them a little bit longer than what I typically carry in my kit. But I figure, you know, every little bit can help. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll just stick these two right here and go through each lash compartment and then or yeah each lash compartment has different types of lashes and then i'll sort them out and then the third pile is just the lashes that i plan on keeping to use so these are pretty um pretty common the ardell natural and then the foam ink wispies so i'm going to go ahead and keep them and use them up they're pretty nice everyday lashes and i've got a pile over here I've got piles everywhere. Um, these right here are, they're from Amazon. I just used them for more like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, now the sun is like super bright, but that's okay, hopefully. I just used them for more high schoolers, you know, that kind of thing, maybe like senior pictures and stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and give those to my sister-in-law because I think she likes the more natural lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give those to her. All right, we're gonna open up this train or this little case here. So this, um, my sister-in-law likes the Sephora number 14s. I think these kind of look similar to them. They're they're nice. I'm gonna give those to her. These are a little bit longer, so I think I'll go ahead and give those to Kendi. I think she might like those. And then there's another pair of number 35s, so I'll give those to Kendi as well. Um, these are 32s. I don't really see uh, my sister-in-law wearing those too terribly often, so I'm going to give those to Candy. On more natural days, she can just wear those. Again, these are these are a little bit longer, but I think this is kind of the style of the Sephora 14, number 14 lashes. I'll put a picture up here if I think about it, but they're just basically, they're not wispy or anything like that. So these are number 39. Is that what I already gave her? I'm going to go ahead and give those to Candy as well. Um, 32s, yeah, these are, um, okay, so there's another 39, and then these are 32s, I don't know, I feel like maybe she might like these for, like, a night of going out, so we'll go ahead and give those to my sister-in-law as well, and there is that one completed, so I've got a nice storage case now <laughs> that I can use for, um, makeup or brushes or something. Okay, these are, um... These are my mink lash line that I used a lot on my bridal clients and my like dancers and um, prom that was, you know, really, really dolled up. So here's another 32. I'll go ahead and give that to my sister-in-law. Again, another 32. This is 30. They're, they're really wispy, but they are long so I don't know if my sister-in-law would like those or not but I don't feel like Candy Beauty would really like them because they're not as thick and I think she does like a thicker lash so I'm gonna give those to my sister-in-law all right here's a 10 I actually wear these so I'm gonna go ahead and keep these this is a 12 um, I'm gonna go ahead and give that to my sister-in-law I think 
they are a little bit longer than she might like, but I think that they're how she likes them filled out, whereas they're just full all the way through for the most part, except for up towards the corner. So I'll go ahead and give those to her. Um, these are a little bit thicker. Mm, I think I might go ahead and give those to Candy Beauty on more natural lash days. She can wear those. Uh, so these came unstuck, but they've never been opened. I think I'm going to go ahead and give those to Candy Beauty. I think she kind of likes those big tufts. This is her style, even though she does like it thicker and longer, but she does like those types of styles. I see her wearing those quite frequently. So, um, which one? This is E12. Uh, okay. Hmm. These are quite long, so I think I'll go ahead and give those to Candy as well. And this is another pair of E10s, so Candy Beauty, you're getting those too. Um, let me see, E9, they look very similar to the E10, so I'll we'll go ahead and give those to Candy. And this is E1, this is my absolute favorite pair. I had a pair in E1s before, and I swore I wore them like 50 to 60 times before they finally just like gave up on me. But they were like the most perfect pair of lashes. And I never, each one is made individually kind of separate, you know, like handmade. So that pair was just so beautiful on me. I'm hoping this is another pair that's really like that too. So um, that is this case right here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep two and the rest are going. Okay. So there's another case cleaned up. So this is just like odds and ends in my train case here. Um, like for example, I've got, this is like glitter adhesive and pigments and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and, look. so let me just tell you right now, these right here are bad. Oh yeah, they stink really bad like formaldehyde. So all of these, liquid lipsticks have to go in the trash. I don't fool around with liquid lipsticks because that's stuff that goes into your body and if it's, um, here's a, I think it's Mac. Yeah, that's a Mac lip, it's garbage, garbage. This is full coverage foundation. I'll go ahead and give this a try. Um, this is glitter. I don't know what to do with these, to be honest with you. I. Sometimes use them, sometimes don't. I did actually have a um, video out where I tried to make, oh, and I got a NYX one and I didn't even know about it. Um, hmm. I do want to give one of these away, so I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one. I've used this glitter before. I use it typically around the holidays. These two right here, um, I'm just going to let them go. I There's nothing nothing special about them at all. This one still is in its case, so we'll go ahead and keep that. But these right here, they're just really cumbersome, and I almost never use them. Yeah, no, it's really just needs to be thrown away. Same way with this one, I'm sure. It's just that there's so many more indie brands out there. I don't know how to get this. Yeah, it, I'm just gonna throw it away. It's not worth it, and I'm sure I got them on sale anyways. Um, my other glitter adhesive is gone, so I'm gonna keep this one. Oh look, another liquid lipstick, that's in the trash. Um, these, I will hang on to these. I, I do like these for around the holidays. So for right now, I'll go ahead and keep them. And this is a Makeup Geek Sparkler in the shade Constellation. I did try and make, or actually no, I did make a uh, press pigment out of it. So I'll probably in the near future make another press pigment out of it. And uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Okay, another case down. Okay, we're kind of getting into the extras and like what's left in my kit, but these are leftovers. I think I actually had these in my kit to use like for me, but this is a luxe gloss in the shade Panache, or I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. It's a little gloppy, gloopy, but I'll go ahead and finish it off. And this is my favorite makeup geek. Um, I know that the light in here is like crazy, so hang on just a moment. There, hopefully that's quite a bit better. Now it's more diffused and not so like bright. But anyways, I'm gonna keep these and use them is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, lip products. Um. It's another Mac. Oh gosh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of it. This one, I do wear it, so I'll keep it. This is really old. 
This is um, Urban Decay. It doesn't matter. It's going in the trash. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe I got these last year. This is probably my favorite lipstick ever. And it's like almost gone. But I do like it. Um, I'll keep it. It's from an MLM brand. If you caught the brand name, go for it. I, they don't even make that lipstick anymore. So, um, this is hard. Catnip. I don't know. I feel like I wear that tone. This. No. What's this? What is this? Um, I, I do wear this and this. This one. Oh my goodness! If you have ever seen my episode of makeup brush classifications i was wearing this matte liquid lip or this matte matted latex oh it still smells okay i think i was wearing this yes i was wearing this color it looks absolutely atrocious on me uh, i don't like it let me just get rid of it okay this right here um i don't even know where the lid is Nope, just get rid of it. Oh, I think there's the lid right there. That can go in the trash with it. Oh, there's that other lid. <sighs> this is embarrassing. Okay, so this is a, a lipstick. I feel like bullet lipsticks are the traditional style lipsticks. Staunch. Who? What happened? It's pretty. I'm going to keep it. Oh, what? What is wrong with this? Like, it just... Hmm. I don't know. But I can't put it all the way on. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll keep it. This is one of my only red lipsticks that I own that looks decent on me. It is Viva Glam... <laughs> Viva Glam 1. It's not too brown. It's not too blue. It's not too pink. It's probably one of the best reds somebody with a ruddy complexion undertone can have. So I really enjoy this lipstick. I do wear it around Christmas time. Okay, I know I'm kind of like all over the place, but here's another one pair of lashes. So I'll just go ahead and put these up on my uh, table so I know that the next time I wear lashes, I'll just wear these. Those are usually one and dones. By the time I peel them off, they're pretty much messed up. Okay, this right here is a primer oil, and I, uh, I've i used it, and it, it smells so heavily of rose that I just, I could never use it on anybody because I was afraid they might have an allergic reaction or a sensitivity to it. So, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to let this oil go. It is, it's probably two years old because I bought it at the time that that Rebel Rose launched, and let me see what this looks like. I can barely get it open. Oh, it stinks. Yep, that's gonna go. What about this one? And all of these, by the way, I always used brushes. That one doesn't stink. I don't think that was ever really used that much. This is in the shade Ashton. It's really, really popular, I think, among the Anastasia shades. I use it. I don't think I ever used this shade. Maybe once. Oh, that smells awful. Can you see inside there? Can you see that nastiness? How embarrassing. Let's see. That's a lip injection. That's old. Um, yep, it's it's got that formaldehyde smell to it. Please don't judge. Please do not judge me. <coughs> Naked liquid lip. Oh, that's so cute. Mm, what's it supposed to smell like? Oh, that's way too light. That's like that. Oh, I used this on somebody's uh, wedding. It was one of my really good friends. I'm pretty sure they've been married for like two years. Okay, this one, I know I am going to keep it to use. It's a Wet n Wild eyeliner. What's this? Color Boost Mad About Matte. I think this is pretty new. Yeah. And it still smells like cookie butter or like cake batter. So this is pretty new. I bought it. Eyeliners. Let's see. Let's just see. That I don't think that's been used. That one's been used. I don't think I need it though. These are actually really nice. That's never been used. I think this has only been used once. So I'll keep these. Ooh, 
Stila. I'm going to keep that. That is not a liquid lip or anything. That's an eye color that got in there. Um, this is a ColourPop lippy. I don't think it's ever been used. Nope, it has. It's matte. It's too orange, though. I think it's supposed to be a deluxe. This is another Wet n Wild. I love these gel lip liners, and it is in a beautiful nude. This one right here. I don't think it's been used. Yeah, it has. How would you know if they're good or bad? I don't need it. So, this one, I don't know. Why did that one go on there just fine? That's crazy. This one's pretty. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of this one. Oh, this one's way too big. Oh, I wonder if the other lip one is supposed to... Are they specific? Yep, they are. They sure are specific. Okay, so I kept Stevie and Staunch. Those are the two um, ABH bullets that I kept. They're both really gorgeous lip colors. They're kind of... This one's a brownish cranberry nude, and this one's probably um, a warmer nude. But I actually don't mind a warm lip. But if it's too light, I just look dingy. Okay, let's keep going. Another one. Oh yeah, the, did you see how crusty that looked? Nope, she gone. Oops, okay. All right, several hours later, I had to, um, had to uh, <laughs> move over the uh, memory, or the, the videos. All right, anyways, doesn't matter. Okay, this is broken and it's coming apart there, so that's getting thrown away. This is a MAC Prep and Prime. Um, you know what? I'll keep it. I don't mind. You know? It's fine. Okay, so then we've got these two right here. This is... Let's see. Crush Dusty Rose. Ah, this one I got several... I gotta keep that one. That one I actually paid full price for because I had to have it. It just, I don't know what it is. That dusty, mauve rosy shade. And then Crush. Oh, let me do the infamous sniff. Mm, this one smells like it might be getting on time. Let me smell the other one. Mm, no, this one smells okay. This one is relatively new. I don't know how new this one is. It doesn't smell too bad. It kind of smells the same, maybe slightly. I'm going to hang on to both of these. I don't wear a whole lot of matte liquid lips anymore. I think, did I get rid of this one? Stripped? Yeah, I think I did. That was supposed to be in the trash. Okay, we're moving right along. We are moving right along. Okay, uh, Morphe Setting Spray. This is brand new. This is going to stay. I actually, that's about the only thing from Morphe that I actually can tolerate. So, let me go ahead and wipe this off. Alright, these are my Doll 10 blushes. And I'm, they're, you know, there's like eight of them or something like that. They're really nice. I just got them not too long ago. What is this? Super pigmented. I don't know. I'm going to keep them for now. I don't mind them. I'm going to keep them in this bag, though, till I figure out where I want to put them. It got pretty, pretty nasty, but there you go. All right, we need to be seeing that trash bin get bigger, don't we? Okay. This has been for around for a while. Let's get rid of that. This is some nail glue. It probably doesn't even work anymore. Ooh, mints. Still have some mints. Um... Word of the wise, don't eat too many of these. They will give you diarrhea. Okay. This is a MAC strobe cream. I don't know if I've ever even used it. I really need no help in the doingness department. Okay, folks. Eh, it smells okay. You know what? Who keeps deluxe samples around? No. Just moving right along here. This is going to be kind of hard because um, I think I'm going to hang on to these. These are pigments from LA Pro to help mix foundations. And then there's a color corrector in there that I use to make olive. 
this is a mattifying face primer. I guess I'm gonna keep that for a little bit longer. You know, I have a mattifying primer though. I really don't need that one. But, and then, then that one lightens here. This is also a color correcting. And those I might actually need since I am keeping some foundations that, you know, aren't really my shade. Okay. I'm gonna throw this one away since it's been opened. These are still fine. I can put them in my car and things. All right. So here's some more lashes. I think, mm, I don't, where did I even get these from? Who even knows? I'm gonna split them up. I'm gonna keep four and I'm gonna give four to my sister-in-law so that she can have four. Cause nobody can have too many lashes, all right folks? Except maybe me. All right, I tried this primer back when Jaclyn Hill recommended it, like four years ago. I'm almost positive this is garbage. Ooh. Yeah, see how it's like liquidy? I don't remember it being that way. It smells okay, and probably because of the pump bottle, it would be okay, but it's just too old, and it's Mommy, loomy. Can you play with me? Yes, I can, Let's sweetheart. Play. Yeah, I'll play with trains, but let me finish this and that way there's nothing like on the floor and then that way we can play with trains. We'll have room for trains. Okay, so here's some just like odds and ends. Okay. Here's some of, odds and odds and ends. Thank you, baby. <laughs> That's my little helper today. Here's my ends and okay. odds Don't be my bumping ends. it. These are just little, you know, this little Q-tip type thingies Q -tip and bamboo, bamboo reusable pads. Reusable. Here's some Here's makeup some. wedges. I'll use those up. Um, this is some witch hazel. Probably don't need this anymore, but I'll dump it okay. out. Okay. Yeah, you can use it. All right, this doesn't even have the thing on it anymore, so I'm just going to throw that away. That's a goner. And then this is pretty crusty looking. That doesn't need to be in there anymore. And then this right here, I bet I could use it as a bronzer because it's nope. dark neutral. Let so I think it. I will keep that. And that's going to wrap up this episode. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel Are you for having? more content centered okay. around what? Single um, shadows? Yeah, this is single shadows. So that um, we need to subscribe to our channel to go to the next channel to get my cats from learning. All right. Sounds good. Subscribe. There will be cats involved, I guess. Yeah, because Thanks so much. my cats. Can we see you here. tomorrow? Bye. Bye. Ooh, so we got some piles made. We got some. We're moving onward, folks. Things are getting organized here in the makeup studio. So thanks so much for joining me on this episode. And I can't wait to see you guys back tomorrow for a studio, my studio tabletop right here. We're going to go ahead and organize that and get all that stuff cleaned up. So you're not going to miss it. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.